Have you ever wondered in Fusion how to sketch a slot? Or if you've seen the slot commands, which one to use? Let's take a look. First thing you need to do is edit an existing sketch or start a new sketch. I'm going to select the sketch and choose this face or a plane. Once I do that, I can now start using under create the slot commands. You're going to see five different ones here. We're going to cover the different uses and where they're different. The first is the center to center slot. And what you're doing is clicking twice to place the centers of the arcs in the slot. The next thing you're going to do is drag it to create the width or place the width that you want for the slot. Notice that number value or that dialog right above my cursor. That is a dimension value. If you'd like to, instead of dragging to what you want, simply type in a value. So I type in 15, click enter on the keyboard, and it will auto place that dimension and place your slot. Now, what are we missing? You can see that it's added some tangency to the existing sketch. I'm going to hide the body for a second so we're not fighting with that. And let's go in and turn off the visibility here. So what we want to do is, in addition to this tangency that was added, we want to finish dimensioning it. So when you drag it, you can see that it's this center point for this arc and this center point doesn't, there's not really any dimensions or locations yet. So if I wanted to, from this center to this outer arc, place a value, and this could be completely different where this is. Now it's still blue. If you drag it, does it move? It does. So it will place a value for the vertical placement. It's 20, great, and so it's now fully defined. Now, using this slot, you just like you might expect, you can use it to extrude and create solid geometry, or you can use it to cut. Click OK, so it cuts that out. Okay, the next slot that we'd like to do once we're in the sketch is go to create and find the second slot, which is overall. This is going from end to end, so I'm clicking and dragging. Now, one problem sometimes is you might place this slot and you struggle to get it connected where you'd like it to be. So I'm trying to get to from edge to edge. I click and sketch this edge to edge, but when I come in and drag it, it's not connected to these endpoints. So let me show you a few strategies for that. Notice how there's tangency that's added to this, how there's midpoints for where the center line runs the full length of this slot. Click it, we'll make it horizontal. Okay, let's bring the body back. Now, the first method to get it connected, I could select this endpoint, select this edge, right click and choose coincident, or select it. And next, if we want to select this endpoint and this edge, it will make them connect. And now we have our slot that runs edge to edge and we'll continue to update even if we lengthen this plate. Now dimensions that I'm missing, I'm gonna do the overall height, but what about placement? Looks like the vertical distance from maybe the outer edge to the top or to the origin, we need something to get it fully defined. Great, and so now we can extrude it. We'll select that new sketch slot, give it depth. Now, one thing I wanted to talk about was how do I add that slot faster without having to place those constraints like we did. One thing you can do in Fusion is when you're sketching, you can reuse ge geometry that's already there. And the term that Fusion uses is project. So if you hit P for project, and you select the outer arc or the outer edge of everything. Okay, so what I wanna do is redraw this outer edge. And so I double click and it should redraw everything, but in this case, it's only drawing that one edge. Here's a trick for redrawing everything. Hit P for project. You can use the select this face or body. It'll redraw everything around the edges for us. So it's redrawn everything. And now this is gonna be easier for us to connect to. So if you ever wanna reuse existing geometry and you're struggling to, use project. So if we now go do a search for a slot, 
we're doing the overall slot and we're going to select the edge and the edge we'll drag it up we'll make sure that this is flat or horizontal and these are now connected and they don't want to release or move away from that outer edge all right third let's look at that next slot that's also a flat or linear slot and that is the center point slot where this one is maybe like it sounds it's where you're starting from the center as your first location i happen to have a line that runs down the mid or middle of this uh, plate so i click that first i drag it out a certain distance or type in the value and then i give it the width okay cool so in this case we can dimension the overall length we could select the center point and go to this point we'll make that 35 i'm gonna hide the body here okay so this is 35 we'll add a radius and we'll add an overall height well it's the same one what's missing sometimes i'm not sure so i drag it try to drag the placement okay great lots of different ways we could do this we could set that this center point should connect to the midpoint over here and this is one of my favorites if i want it to go flat I'll select it and make it horizontal and it realigns it to that midpoint. Lots of different ways you can do that one. Let's talk about dimensioning these slots. So maybe you know the overall value. And when you go to place the dimension, anytime you do two different arcs, it's going to go to the center points of those arcs. That's just the default. Smart dimensions ready. It's turned on. It's right here come right click this is the gotcha this, the, this is very order dependent right click and come down to the menu and choose the tangent now place it i'm going to click the arc somewhere over do i want to do this one as well make sure you right click before you place it right click make sure that arc tangent is selected and now select that arc and it'll do outer to outer so now i can set that this arc is 90 or smaller 75 and it's driving the full distance what if you want a kind of a mix you can do smart dimension right click it doesn't remember it from last time so i right click arc tangent i'll select the arc i'll come over and i'll just select the center point so that way i'm getting the outer to the center point if you wanted kind of that mix next we have the three point arc slot and the center point arc slot these are curved or um, slots that don't follow a straight line and so this is great for those kind of curved arcs that slots that you want but this is just like the arcs that, like i covered in the other video where you're going to click and click those are the two endpoints, and then you drag out the arc that you want and so this is exactly like that three-point arc, except now when you drag, you're getting a width and it's closing it off with the profile. There's going to be plenty to dimension here, right? So I'm going to do the radius and then I'm going to do the horizontal distance to that, the vertical distance from here to here. Now, if I just had endpoints that it needed to connect to, that's much faster. But you can see there's quite a few things that are missing when it comes to dimensioning where this okay so it's fully defined what do we need if i drag you can see that maybe the total width is not really defined yet so um, or the center point needs to be defined lots of different ways i could probably do this let's do center point or excuse me these endpoints and make the width this value now it's defined okay and so now finally the center point arc slot so kind of like it sounds just like the three point or the center point arcs do the two center points then you get to sketch how big of an arc it's going to be and then you drag the width so a little bit more control here and just like we saw before you're going to add all these dimensions for radius and where the endpoints sit or where the center points sit as well as where this center point rests so this one's really important when it comes to that center point placement so if you know that location 
um, that's going to be a great use of this arc. So that's slot commands in Fusion. We're working our way through all the different commands each day. Check out this video here. This is the one that I'd say to watch next and look for the next video tomorrow.